A rock falls from rest off a high cliff. How far has the rock fallen when its speed is 39.2 meters per second? Neglect friction. So here we're going to assume that the rock falls straight down, and that's going to allow us to use the equations that we have for this unit. Um, so we're going to change the speed into a velocity in the negative direction. And this is our final speed that we're looking for. Um, so our final speed is going to be negative 39.2 meters per second. Um, our initial speed is 0 meters per second, and that'll be a vector as well. It doesn't need to have an associated direction since it'll be represented by the zero vector. So this is initial speed. Uh, we know the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is in the downwards direction. It's roughly 9.81 meters per second squared. And we want to know how far the rock has fallen uh, when it gets to this final speed. So we want to know the displacement. Okay, so now we can use this equation. Final speed is equal to, sorry, final speed squared is equal to initial speed squared plus two times acceleration times displacement. So we know that the initial velocity or speed is zero. Sorry, I should have been saying velocity for these as they are vector quantities. So uh, the actual equation is final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus two times acceleration times displacement. So now we have final velocity squared equals two times acceleration times displacement. Um, and we want to solve for displacement. So we're going to divide both sides. Let me rewrite it so it's clear. We will now divide both sides by two times acceleration to get displacement on its own. So we'll have displacement is equal to final velocity squared, which is negative 39.2 meters per second squared, uh, divided by 2 times acceleration, so 2 times negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, in the numerator there, negative 39.2 squared. It's going to give us positive 1,536.64 meters squared per second squared. Um, notice that I'm keeping many more significant figures than I should for now. Uh, I should only have technically three significant figures in the numerator, but I'm just doing this so that we have a more exact result in the end. Then in the denominator, we have 2 times negative 9.81. Which will give us negative 19.62 meters per second squared. Second squared will cancel. We'll be left with a meter in the numerator, and that makes sense because the meter is a unit of displacement. So now, if we perform this division, uh, keep in mind that we only want to have three significant figures. We should find that it is equal to. negative 78.3 meters. And keep in mind this negative indicates the downwards direction of the displacement. Um, so this is 78.3 meters below the point where the rock fell from rest. Um, so if we're looking for the distance that the rock has fallen, that will simply be the magnitude of the displacement, 78.3 meters.